so there is no way to do these um, contract things pain-free. Buenos días. Um, yeah, Monday. <laughs> so, get, uh, what do we have today? On Friday, I got the list ready of the chemicals that I need to order. Um, there was a little, yeah, accident in the lab and one of the fridges kind of like gave up and we did not notice. So I lost a couple of chemicals that I need to order again. And I finally got the list of the things that I need. They, and of course I have to finish and edit the video so that uh, you guys can see what happened last week. As soon as I'm more awake, I can tell you more. The video is ready and I'm getting much, much faster now. <laughs> um, I'm doing my repository so that you all can have access, so that you all can, can look at the files, use the templates that you like. We have to rethink some of the credit or the copyrights for the data. What we decided, so we want to have a merge of open science, so like open access uh, to the code. But for some of the parts, we need to put some restrictions. I contacted the legal department of the university for that. Let's see how good they can deal with this because, of course, Open science is not that uh, common. I'm not sure how often the university, the legal department had to deal with this kind of things. So I suppose we are all learning. The medical faculty has exams, of course, for the medical students. And we, uh, we need to help with keeping an eye that nobody copies or do something that is not supposed to be doing. And yeah. And it was around one o'clock. They just move it to four o'clock in the afternoon. That means that I will be leaving at seven o'clock at night. That will be way too late. Finally got a hold of the personal department. One for more. Um, I still think I have to call them and talk directly with them because I think something got lost between translation and email and all the stuff. I think for today, that's my last update. Third take. <laughs> Buenos dias. Hi. The first one, I started to speak Spanish with you guys. The second one, I could not coordinate my thoughts. I really need my coffee. So I will tell you what I will be doing after I have my coffee. Now I know what I have to do today. So yeah, there was the pre-registration style documentation that I wanted to do um, for the project that we might be starting with Celine and Anna from the Ross Lab. And as well, I need to make the summary of the course for Johan about the FAIR data uh, course for the medical students. And I have a meeting in the city center around it. That's the day for today. It's not far away the city center, like with the transportation system. I think it would take me about half an hour to get there. I'm waiting for the person that I supposed to meet. I'm early. I don't like to be late. I am back. They were super helpful it's for some kind of research money that I'm trying to uh, get and organize. And yeah, we'll see. So now I need to gather all the documents that my student has to fill in, the pool one. And so that we can get her contract. I know now what to do. See what else is in the list to do from last week. I think it was not much, so should be okay. I really need to start with the course for the winter semester. I need to do the exercises for the other part, for the second part, but I don't want to leave it for the last minute. 
because I am sure that at the end of the year it's going to be really stressy and I don't want to do things halfway. I need to retake the project for the data set that we're publishing. Um, I need to verify that is everything open science conform, which I mean, I was trying to do, but now that I know a little bit better, I have to go over everything and make sure it's really everything that is supposed to be data sets, readme files, all this stuff. But I will tell you about it um, as we go along and yeah, that's about it. We'll see what happens the rest of the day. I will keep you updated. There is something called module six in the medical faculty where students of medicine will do a research project. I presented the project two weeks ago. Last week, I was able to load it on the website. I think I, rem I, I, think I told you guys about it. And um, yeah, and one student was interested, so he had time now. So I said, okay, let's talk about it. So yeah, we talk about it and I told him he has to think about it because it might be difficult, but he has to have fun. Um, yeah, so we'll see what he decides. That's all right now I'm doing some statistics uh, for the grant that I'm, I want to apply for. I think the rest of the week I will dedicate only for the course. I think that makes more sense. Yeah, and then next week I will start the, the grant in detail. And yeah, we'll see. Yeah, there's always a lot of stuff to do in between. But yeah, that's the plan. Plans change, so it's okay. Good, good. So for today, I think that's it because I really need to start to write. Um, and yeah, then see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning. Um, today is Wednesday. Today is a meeting. I have to gather all the documents that I have to give to my student for the contract and send it to her. I got an extra document that she needs to get it signed by the university so that she can start with the right contract. Ah, on Friday we have a meeting for the OSIM, which is good because then we can discuss little details that I, questions that I have still from uh, organizing a course. I hope you guys uh, have discovered the repository and the documents and of course if you have any questions anytime just write them in the comments. Um, I try to answer them um, and yeah, I hope it helps you really and it saves you a lot of time. So there is no way to do these um, contract things pain free. There is a one single thing that says what the person who is going to be hired has to up has to fill in which forms but not all the forms are in the file that they give us to download so i had to put everything together in one folder separate them rename them because they use the wrong names and now i have a file and then the instructions how to fill the stuff which the person who is uh, who is getting the job should send this stuff um, yeah, the, that information is only if you log in as a um, member of the LMU. I think I, I need to give them some hints of what might be better for somebody who has never done this before. But this is not for people who just start to do this. No. And I hope everything goes well because we need to send that latest the second or third week of August. Good morning. <laughs> Yesterday I forgot to log out with you guys, <laughs> but I was so fed up with the paperwork that I needed a little bit me time. <laughs> um, yeah, so today I have to keep going with the, with the course that I'm planning for the winter semester um and review oh yeah and i have to review a couple of documents that i need to submit 
and yeah that's kind of like the plan for today so i hope i can tell you more about it after my coffee coffee is in my brain now <laughs> and halfway i have to say this is the third take that i'm doing <laughs> so i want to tell you concrete what happened i got an email the student that was with me two days ago who was interested in the module six project that i posted he said yes he's coming so we will be working with tetrahymena thermophila is the name of our ciliate model and um, the idea is we get to know tetrahymena thermophila with certain behavior we're going to evaluate their behavior in different conditions using a chemical called alamar blue basically what it will do is change color depending on if Teta Jimena is happy or not, is not happy. And when do we find it happier? Like eating a lot and reproducing and that's happy for a cilia. Yeah, and that's what he will do. And then we will test the limits of the happiness. <laughs> so when it starts to get kind of like not too happy about what we're doing with it. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like, that's going to be really nice. He has, he knows that he has to learn a lot of new things because he needs to do the analysis in R, which is not going to be, I mean, I know it takes a little while, but it's possible. It's not impossible. And he has 12 weeks. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. And I got an email from our collaborators. It seems like the budget of the grant, the first revision for their part, is approved yay um i have to call today and see what happens with mine um yeah i hope they approve it too um mine is a little bit difficult because we have as well a lab materials in um, a machine that we need for the tests so yeah we'll see the budget approval like the first revision that doesn't mean that it has been approved completely. The last word is by the BMBF, which I hope we get at the end of the month because I need to get the contract ready for my student. Just in case that I did not tell you. So we got the revision and it looks good. They did not cut uh, money from what we proposed and we revised because the process was really helpful um, it's long <laughs> but it was really helpful we were able to correct a couple of things that we had that was not absolutely right um, with the help of the Auftrag Geber it's kind of like a, a hmm, how I don't, I don't even understand the whole process, but apparently the government gives the um, task to a company to deal with the distribution of the money. And that means writing the grant out and revising all the submissions and having their own set of experts revising everything. And then they decide and then they tell you it's okay okay we like what you did but then we have to check the budget again and that's a little bit different from all the grants that i had before so right now the first revision of the budget is done now it has to go to the government and then we will see what they say i hope they say yes um, so until tomorrow okay bye Buenos dias. Um, it's early. I have a very long day today. We have the meeting for the Open Science Initiative. Oops, wait. It's a little bit dark here. We have the meeting for the initiative of in Open. Sorry, it's called OSIM. Um, open science in um, initiative in medicine and until now until now it was only 
online and today is in person which is cool because finally i will get to meet everybody um, but it's in the other part of the city what is called Grosjada and it's a little bit far away from my home kind of like it's in the same direction but it means that I take instead of having 26 minutes ride I have now one hour it will be okay I think I will be at 7.30 at home, 7.30 at night, or, yeah, evening, because here it's not dark yet. Um, yeah, so what is the plan for today? First, to make my coffee, because early and I need to have breakfast. And, yeah, the plan, yeah, the plan for the course from the winter semester is done up to the sixth week, I think. The first six weeks, I already have everything planned and the exercises, but I need to do the next ones because there will be new exercises. I cannot use the exercises from other um, from other courses that I already given. So yeah, that's that is the part that is going to take a little bit. So I have to get onto it. <sighs> I thought my migraine was getting better, but actually it's getting worse. So I really, I, I cannot go to the meeting today. I think I have to go home. If not, I will be laying in bed the whole weekend. So I think that's the end for today. I wish you all a nice weekend and... See you next time, okay? Bye.